All right, so if you're having a hard time with tough transformations, <laughs> that pun in there, uh, then you're hopefully this is what your worksheet looks like. All right. Okay, all you're doing for this one is just flipping the graphs on the sides. So this goes here and this goes here. So all you're doing is flipping it over. Okay, now for when you have to subtract two, all that is doing is moving the graph down two. So this point would just be moved down two points. So all you do, so over here, you go over two, and you just move it down two. And then this is over one, six, so three, four. And then you move that down two. All you do is bring the entire graph down two. Okay, so I just finished moving the graph down two, and that's what your final graph should look like. But for right now, I'm going to jot down what these mean. When there's two lines, that's when left side mirrors right. And this is kind of new, this little 2 in front. Whenever it's not in the parentheses, this is going to be a y times 2. So if it was a 3, it would be y times 3, 1 half, y times 1 half. Anything in front is going to be times y. Okay, so for the first part of this graph, we're going to do a left side mirrors right. So over here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to go over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Plot that point. One, two, three, up, one, two, three, four. And the one's right next to it. So then it's going to go zero, or, yeah, zero, one, two. You can connect your points. Don't forget this down here. So this is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down, one, two. So now, because of this, left's going to mirror the right, you're going to go over here. This went over 6, so you're going to go over 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plot the point. Down 1, 2, over 1, 2. Then it goes 1, 2, 3, up 1, 2, 3, 4. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, up, 1, 2, 3, 4. Connect those. So then there's a point right next to it. Bring that point over, connect. Then it still goes up 1, 2 right here. So you're going to go over and just connect it. And that's the first part of flipping the left, or mirroring, uh, having the left side mirror. Right, so right. for the second part, you're going to multiply the y's by 2. And you're going to be multiplying every single y by 2. So let's start with the first one, uh, 0, 1, 2, so you're going to go 0, 2 times 2 is 4, so you're going to go up, 1, 2, 3, 4, go over here, 1, 2, up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 times 2 is 8, so you're going to go over 2, up, 8, and then one is right next to it, so you can just plot the point. And then the one of the last ones, one, two, three, four, five, six. Since the y is zero, two times zero obviously is still gonna be zero, so the point is still gonna be at six. And then the last one is eight, comma, negative two. So negative two times two is negative four, so you're gonna go over eight down one, two, three, four. Then go ahead and connect your points. So because it is mirrored, this side's going to be the exact same. So once you go ahead and do that, I'm going to stop the video. And when I play it, hopefully you guys will be done. And this is what your guys' graph should look like. And always remember that these lines over here, because they're going straight, they aren't going to change. And you always have your arrows on the ends. Okay, so for h of x, here's the equation. And I kind of just jotted down a note um, to remember. So for this one... You're pretty much all you're doing is multiplying the x's by 2. So I'll do that part in this first graph here. 
So right here on the original you have um, when x is 2, so 2 times 2, you do 2 times 2 is 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And wherever 2 is at, it's up 4, so it's up 4, plot the point. And then obviously 0 stays the same. Um, and then let's do, we can do this one. That is at 1, 2, 3, 4. So you do go to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it's down 2. So you plot the point there. And let's see. We'll do this point. And it's negative 2 times 2, negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's at 0. And then we can do, we'll do this point, which is at 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, so you go 1, 2, 3, 4, and times 2, which is 8, so 5, 6, 7, 8, and up 2. Okay, so all I did was connect all the points, and the next part, all you're going to do is move it down 3. After moving the graph down 3, this is what your graph should look like. So for this next graph, um, you're dividing the x by negative 3, don't forget, it's not multiply, it's divide. I'm going to split it up into two different ones for you guys. This one right here, I'm going to multi or divide it by negative 1. And then this one right here, and then I'm just going to divide it by 3. So we'll start off with just dividing everything by negative 1. So this is really, uh, this one right here is just going to be j, negative x. If you remember, negative x flips it back like a flip-flops it, so if you need to go back on your notes, just try to memorize all of those. So we're going to start right here. Okay, so we're going to start with this point, which is negative 6, uh, negative 2. You're going to divide negative 6 by negative 1, which is positive 6. You're going to go over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, down 1, 2. Remember the y stays the same. So next point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 4, that's going to stay the same. 0 times negative, or divided by negative 1, obviously 0. So you're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, plot your point. Over here you go over 1, 2, 3, up 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, positive 3 divided by negative 1 is negative 3, so you're going to go over 1, 2, 3. You're still going to go up 4 because... Like I said before, you don't do anything to the Y. So you're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. So this next point right here. Uh, and just a reminder with your points, you're going to try to do the ones that hit like an axis or like that have points not in between the lines like this one, for example. It'll just make it harder for yourself. So if you do one that's on a normal, like a 4, 3, anything like that, it'll be easier. So you're going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Positive 5 divided by negative 1 is negative 5. So you're going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put your point. This is ne positive 6, negative 2. Positive 6 divided by negative 1 is negative 6. So you're going to go over 1. Still going to go down 2. Connect these points. And then this one has this, so it's still just going to go straight. This one, you kind of look for another point. It's going to be right here. So this is over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Negative 9 divided by negative 1. Positive 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Put that point. For the second part, you're going to divide the x's by 3. And just a reminder that you can do all of these. They can do this all in one time and skip it, but for now we're just going to break it up so it's harder to make a mistake. So we'll start with this point right here. Go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, down 1, 2, so negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2, and then you're still going to go down 2. This one right here is 1, 2, 3, up 1, 2, 3, 4, Negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. Still going to go up to 4. Alright, I'm going to pause the video. You guys do the rest and check back in when you're done. So this is what your graph should look like. 
all we did was take these points. Make sure you don't take these ones. Take these ones, and you just divide the x's by 3. As you can see, it's going to uh, scrunch it in. So if you're multiplying it by a bigger number, the farther it's going to go in, smaller number it's going to go out. Okay, so for this one, this is the one where you have the asymptotes at wherever the graph hits 0 on the x-axis. And then um, you have... You plot points at wherever the graph hits negative one, for example, here or one. So we'll do the zero, the asymptote lines first. So it hits zero over here. Do the dotted line. Hit zero at one. <clears throat> or negative one. Um, it hits zero at two. And it hits zero at one, two, three, four, five, at six. Okay, so now you look at where the graph hits one. So right here is it's negative one right here actually, so it's two over right here. And it hits one right here. This is right here. It's one again right here. That's right here. And then it hits one right here. Put that point there. Hits it again right next to it. Hits negative one at three. And then hits it again right here. And then it hits one right here. Okay, so now you have all the dots plotted and Okay, so this is what it should look like after everything is connected. And then the next part is all you do is you move down the x axis two and then you move down everything else down two. And that's okay, it. So for these last two we're going to have you guys pause the videos, and then we're going to do them. You guys can play them. You're going to check your answers. Uh, hopefully by now you guys kind of got the main gist of it, and so you're able to do them on your own. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video now. So for the first step, you just times the x by 2, because it's going to be the opposite, or you can divide by 1 half. And then you have to do two steps in this one. So you make all y's positive, and then you're going to bring the graph down three. Okay, so I'm going to do q of x, so pause your video now. Okay, so first, you have an absolute value. So that's what I did here. An absolute value is just a mirror image of the right side. So you just copy down this, and that's what you do here. And then you literally just do a mirror of that on the left side. And then for the next part... Um, you have the asymptotes and all the points, so this is just where the graph hits zero. Here and here, at four, negative four and negative two, and two and negative, or two and four. So it's the same on each side. And then you got the same points on each side. And it's just wherever it hits one, or negative one. So, 